are you doing everyone? As you can see from the title screen and from a title on YouTube, this is Let's Demo for Titanfall. This is Bing Box, and I'm going to walk you guys through some of the video settings that you can use on this computer, the MSI GS60 Pro. Now, I know this is a big game this year, and it's pretty graphic intense, so I'm sure you guys want to know. So let's jump into the options, and there's quite a few options, and even more options once we get into video settings. But first of all, we're going to look at the HUD margin. So this is basically how far and how big the HUD is uh, in your screen. We're going to keep it on small. Secondly, we're going to go into our video options, obviously, and we have all the basics, 1920 by 1080 widescreen, color mode, whatever. Anti-aliasing. Now, anti-aliasing, there are so many options for anti-aliasing on this game. Now, CSAA is the NVIDIA native uh, anti-aliasing system, I guess you can say. Now, it goes all the way up to 16 times QCSAA. I have no idea what that means. I know what anti-aliasing does, but there's just so many options, I don't know what to do. For me, I kept it on eight times CSAA. I found this is the most efficient and works really well with this game and provides a really sufficient amount of anti-aliasing. I don't think you need any more than that. V-Sync, we're gonna turn on. Some people have had problems with V-Sync and tried to turn it on in the NVIDIA control panel, and that hasn't really worked for me. So I just turned it on in game. Field of view now, it starts at 70 default. So I turned it to 90 because I want as much stuff on my screen as possible. Now, as you can see in the top right, this does increase CPU and GPU load because the more stuff on the screen there is, the harder your computer has to work to process all that stuff. Keep that down if you want the default field of view. I mean, that's what they defaulted as anyway, so it's fine. Now, as I was pointing out in the top right of this uh, screen here, Whenever you highlight any of these settings, it tells you exactly what it does, and it tells you what it will affect. Sometimes it affects GPU more, sometimes it affects CPU more. So as you highlight through it, it shows you what you should turn down, what you should turn up, depending on what your system specs are. And I wish more games did this. Now texture resolution, we're gonna keep on very high because I've heard that there are some issues with, in with insane, and I don't really see a huge difference between very high and insane. We're just going to keep it at very high. And then the texture filtering, there's a bunch of options too. Okay, so we're going to keep that at anisotropic 16 times. I found that this is the best that it can do and is the top setting. And my computer can handle it fine. All of these other settings go from low to high. Sometimes just two settings, sometimes low, medium, high. But um, the only thing I wanted to turn down was ragdolls because I'm not particularly fond of ragdolls anyway. I mean, it's not that I don't like them, but I don't think it's necessary. So I just turned down ragdolls, and uh, that's fine for me, and it reduces some of the CPU load. So hey, I'll take it. Okay, we're going to apply those settings, and then we're going to jump into a game. Uh, yeah, I think that's all the options that we have here, and we're going to play. We got four in our base. Okay, as you can see, we're in-game now. I'm going to show you a bunch of these videos. Uh, I recorded a few different maps so you guys can see what the different features are and how it looks on different maps and what the FPS looks like. Now, as you can see, as we're going to go through this video, a lot of the maps and a lot of the gameplay takes place in the high 50s to 60s. I can keep a pretty solid 50 to 60 frame rate on this game, if not 60 a lot of the times indoors. Uh, once you get into the Titanfall battles, not the Titanfall battle, the Titan battles, rather. Nice. Um, it does drop Back FPS flight, some, especially if there's three, four, five Titans on scene, and there's a lot of missiles going, flying around, and there's a lot of bombs and other people shooting at you, and there's a guy rodeoing, rodeoing your Titan, and uh, there's just a lot of action going on. So that does happen to get into the 40s sometimes, but I noticed that it doesn't really feel that terrible while it's in 40 for some reason. Um, when I don't have my FPS counter on, I really don't notice it that much, actually. So, that's a good thing. Um, I feel like the response times in this and the, uh, V-Sync doesn't really drop my input level. I feel like it's pretty good and I can get the same response time. I have a really good mouse. And obviously Hiding the computer's pretty shit. fast. I think it's pretty good already. Thing. So I, know, I think sometimes I when you get into the 40 it. and you're just fighting each I other with giant titans anyway, it doesn't really matter in terms of too much accuracy because you're just shooting this they giant mass, titan. basically. Um, Ready to grab again, in terms of the uh, 
graphics otherwise here, you see that it's still rocking around, you know, the 50s, 60s. No problem whatsoever. It's really not bad uh, with these settings. And I think, as you can tell, we have the textures on high. They're not on insane. Everything looks really awesome. And of course, all the other effects like smoke and sand and all these creatures flying around, all of it looks great. And I don't really see a problem with the anti-aliasing in this either. A lot of the textures look so smooth. Maybe I'm not as smooth as some would like, and they could be smoother or rounder, but you do what you can. And, uh, I mean, it looks fantastic. Even if they're, you know, I'd rather have the FPS than, you know, sacrifice that much FPS just to get a little bit better textures and a little bit better rounding of corners. I think this looks awesome already, and a lot of this stuff is made of metal, and a lot of futuristic metal-y stuff. So it doesn't really bother me that much that some of the edges are sharper. I don't think everything in the world is round anyway. Um, so as you can see, there's no jagged textures. Everything's pretty smooth. Sometimes we get a little uh, cutting in in terms of uh, screen tearing here and there, especially during the Titan Falls. Uh, you'll see later on in the video, there are going to be a few screen tears and just a little bit of stuttering when the Titan falls, and especially if you're launching from spawn to Titan onto the map, you do have a uh, quite a bit of stutter. It drops down to like 20 FPS sometimes, just really, just for a second. And then once you land and then the Titan boots up, then you're all set to go. Okay, so here we're gonna just show from the drop sequence. Uh, this part's kind of like video-like, so it's not necessarily the most intensive up there, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway. This is another map, I think. Uh, no, this is the same map. We haven't switched maps yet. Uh, this is just halftime. And as you can see, everything just looks rich. The colors look awesome. I mean, there's the, uh, the, the glare from the sun. Everything looks really good. And as you can see, there's already a lot of action happening here. Everything moves so smoothly. Everything from the jumping to the wall running. It just looks awesome. The bullet traces. Yeah, everything's fast paced. So sorry, you guys, if you are a little motion sick from this. I mean, this is an FPS. You kind of did it to yourself. But yeah, everything is fast paced in this. And everything moves so smoothly. I have no problem. And actually recording hardly even took a toll on this at all. Uh, which I was pretty surprised about. You got him. So, as you can see, this game runs super smooth. I'm just going to play another, what, six minutes now of uh, footage, just so you guys can see all the different types of maps and all the different features that these maps have to offer in terms of, uh, here's another Angel City map, right? And, you know, these environments are pretty similar, but they vary from uh, here to there. And some maps have more smoke or fire or particles than others, and some are more straightforward. But as you can see, I, I feel like the trees and everything and the buildings just look really great. And of course the gun models and the character models. Games like this nowadays always do a really great job, and this computer does an awesome job rendering it. I swear, it's really, really nice. Now again, as you can see, we're running at really high FPS, and uh, I mean, I love playing this game just because it looks great, and it's so smooth, and the gameplay is so quick, and this computer can just handle it on these really nice settings. I mean, Titanfall, they did put a lot of work into putting nice graphics in this for a really fast-paced gameplay. This is no Call of Duty, where I feel like Call of Duty multiplayer the graphics are not nearly as good as some of the other multiplayer or single player first person shooters. They really put a lot of work into this and it's really, really a blast to play. Okay, so here's another drop from halftime. We're going to Angel City. Just to show you guys that initial match breakout. As you can see, there's a lot of that uh, that sun flaring going on here. Not all the maps have that, but this one particular more, I guess. Enemy 
So another thing I wanted to talk about, you know, despite me just getting into this game and me really liking this game, I want to talk about what do you guys think about Titanfall? Are you guys playing Titanfall right now? Do you guys get sick of Titanfall already? Are you guys getting this laptop and are you going to get Titanfall or put Titanfall on it because, you know, it can handle it now? Are you going to buy Titanfall because, you know, your computer couldn't handle it before but now it could? I really want to know because the community seems to have died down a little bit and it's a little disappointing. Uh, and you guys can hear that from a lot of the other players who are really in the Titanfall still. And it is, it's kind of disappointing and I want to know from you guys in the comments below, are you guys still playing? Do you want to set up a game or something? Because it is kind of hard to find matches here. And as awesome as this game is, uh, other people have said there need to be more uh, game modes. I really do think so. Oh, I love the smart pistol. The smart pistol in this game is so quick and so nice. And uh, it does take a little getting used to. It is harder to fight regular pilot players as opposed to uh, uh, grunts or specters or whatever. But. I should have gotten that guy earlier. Lost the tracking. There we go. As you can see, the frame rate stuttered just a little bit, dropped a quite a bit amount uh, while the Titan was dropping in. And then it went back to normal. As you can see, there's a little bit of screen tearing on the left there. I don't know what happened, um, but overall, these look great. The Titan actions, the screen and the HUD and the pieces surrounding a Titan that you can see through the screen uh, and everything from the Titans on screen to the character models and the, and the little guys down below, this computer can render all of it and at a pretty high resolution. As you, can, as you saw before, everything's on high. As you can see here, we do have quite a bit of a drop in frame rate, but look, of all, look at all the stuff that's happening right now. There's three, four Titans in the scene right now. This is a nice overview look of the of the map, and everything looks great. Sorry about the terrible gameplay. I mean, again, I just got the game recently, so uh, don't hate it on me too much. Now, I do have to warn you, there are some times when you're running into the distance, some textures do pop in randomly as if they weren't loaded yet. That's not really a big issue for me because usually that's something that's farther away. And usually you can see the pilots if, you know, they're in your view already anyway. So I wouldn't be so worried about that actually. Sometimes the really big explosions, especially during the uh, nuclear explosion for the Titans, uh, that really does take a toll on the frame rate, but that's already when you die. Uh, sometimes when you haven't died yet, I guess. But yeah, some of the really big explosions where it fills the screen with a lot of particles and a lot of light, and especially scenes like this where it's really crazy, the frame rate does drop a little bit, but as long as you have a good internet connection, I cannot stress enough, having a good internet connection is very, very helpful. Alright, so that's going to be it for me guys. Uh, this is Bing Box again. Leave a like down below if you liked the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the video and what stuff you guys want to see in the future. Okay, I'm still working on a lot of these videos and hopefully bringing you some good content, some content that you care about. And I'll see you guys next time.